Hello and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be sharing my family's favorite chicken dish and that is chicken piccata. It's chicken cooked in a lovely white wine and lemon butter sauce with some caper berries thrown in. Absolutely delicious. So I'm going to go over the ingredients, but I'm not going to be giving you amounts because I'm not sure how much of all these ingredients I'm going to actually be using. I will list amounts down in the description, however, if you want to go there to make this dish for yourself. So the first thing I'm going to start with is our chicken. I've got two chicken breasts that I've sliced extremely thin. I like to do that instead of uh, pounding them out. I find it just works better for me. I've got two cups of white wine here. I've got some chicken stock. I've got some lemons, caper berries, shallots, garlic, butter, flour, salt, and pepper. And that is all we're going to need for this dish. Now to get started, we're going to start by seasoning up our chicken. So I'm going to move this stuff out of the way. And I'm actually going to put my butter back in the refrigerator until we're, we need it. You want to keep your butter as cold as possible all the way up until the point that you stick it in your dish. That way when it melts it gives the sauce a nice lovely velvety texture. Alright, so I've got all that out of my way. I'm going to bring in a plate that I've already put a little bit of flour on. I'm just going to put a little bit more. You do not need a lot of flour for this dish. Just enough to lightly coat your chicken pieces. The first thing I'm going to do is just put a little bit of salt and pepper on these top pieces here and then I'll season the bottom ones as I get to them and our pepper. And I'm simply going to place these down in here and dredge them in the flour, but before I flip it over, I'm going to season this side as well. You want to make sure both sides are equally seasoned. And I'm just going to flip it over, give it a little pat, and that piece is done. Looks pretty good on the other side. So while I'm getting these last two pieces coated in our flour and seasoning, I would like to remind you of the Gamers and Geeks playlist that JP Death and I have going on on our channels. If you would like to be a part of it, it's really simple. All you have to do is go out and make a cooking video. And once you've done that, post it to your channel and then let either JPIC or I know in the comment section of our latest cooking videos or if you're a part of our Discord servers, you can let us know over there as well. Remember, this is a community-driven playlist made up of you, our friends and YouTube family. The only thing that we do ask, guys, is that you talk about the Gamers and Geeks playlist somewhere in your video and leave a link down in the description. That way we can continue to support all the fine people that have already contributed to the list. Alright guys, I'm going to get this last one coated up and we will move over to the stove and start getting these cooked. Alright guys, so I've got you over at my stove and I've already started heating up my pan with a couple of tablespoons of olive oil. And all we're going to do is start cooking our chicken for about four to five minutes on each side or until it's completely cooked through. Alright guys, you'll know that your chicken's ready to flip when it starts turning a lovely golden brown color. I'm going to go ahead and get these flipped and let them cook on this other side until they're done. Alright guys, now that our chicken's cooked, I've already gone ahead and taken it out of the pan and moved it over to a plate just to hold it until we're done making the sauce. And I'm going to start with my caper berries. And I've got about a tablespoon of them there. You could add a little bit more or a little bit less. Make sure they stop sizzling a little bit. And then I'm just going to smash a few of these down just to release some of their, their flavor into the bottom of our pan. Probably about half of them or so. Next thing I'm going to do is add in a little bit of my shallots, not all of them. 
going to give those a stir around. I'm also going to start grating in my garlic. Now you can do like a really fine mince on this, but I find this is a lot easier to get the garlic in the pan. As fine as I want it. And I'm going to use two cloves of garlic today. All right, All right guys, there we go. Our garlic is in the pan. I'm just going to give it a quick little stir and let it go for about 30 seconds before I add in my two cups of white wine. And I'm going to cook this until it reduces by half. I want to make sure I scrape up all that lovely fond off the bottom of the pan. That's just going to add more flavor to our sauce. While I'm waiting for this to reduce, I am going to go ahead and add in my lemon juice. And I think because these lemons are so small, I'm going to add both of those lemons into this. Alright guys, that is the last of my lemon. And I'm just going to let this continue to reduce down before we add our chicken stock in. Alright guys, I've let the wine reduce all the way down. And now all I'm going to do is add, oh, I don't know, about a half of a cup or so of chicken broth. Maybe a little bit more. It smells so good at this point. And I'm going to go ahead and drop in my four tablespoons of cold butter. And this is what's going to give our sauce a nice, lovely, velvety texture and look. So all that's left now is to get this butter melted in, and then our sauce will be done. And we'll be able to add our chicken back in the pan just long enough to warm it back up. Alright guys, so all I'm doing is adding my chicken back into the pan, and I just kind of flip it over. Make sure both sides get coated with our sauce before I add some more pieces. And then I'm just going to let this heat up until our chicken is nice and warm again. And it will be ready to serve. So I will see you guys when that's done. Alright guys, our chicken piccata is all done. And I'm simply serving it with some coconut rice as well as a little bit of squash and some green beans. Let's get in here, give it a taste, see what we think about it. I'm very excited to get in here. I haven't made this for a little bit of time, and I do truly love this dish. Let me get in there and get a little bit of that rice on there, too. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This is so good. The chicken is nice and tender. I love the little bite from the lemon and then of course you have the little briny pop from your caper berries as well. You get a little bit of that garlic back note. Overall, I really do enjoy this dish. It's no wonder it's one of my family's favorite. But that is going to be it for me for the day, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave me a comment down below. If you guys tried this recipe out, let me know how it turns out for you. Remember to check out the Gamers and Geeks playlist, as well as my other cooking playlists. I will leave links down in the description to them. And as always, thank you all so very much for joining me today. I've been Walker. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and I hope I'll see you in the next one.